Are these cocoa pods behind me Costa Rica's ultimate glamping experience? <laughs> the radical design was the bait, so I guess that makes me the hook. Do they look super cool? Yup. Will they be a good place to stay? That I'm not so sure about. But I've got two days to experience this place, and I'll show you the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. If you're new here, I'm Don. That's my room up there. And then I make videos about the world's most unique hotels, so you can book your next escape with confidence. My local guide and friend Maria's along with me today, and we'll not just show you the super unique property, we'll also show you what to do in the town of Uvita where we are right now, what there is to do here, and we'll end with a realization that I think could make or break your trip here. But you know, here's a crazy thing that just occurred to me. The cocoa pods are above the tiny town of Uvita on Costa Rica's southern Pacific coast. Uvita is a four hour drive from the capital of San Jose or five and a half hours from Liberia airport. There's a link in the description to my video about Costa Rica's tourist areas that should help you understand where you might want to base yourself in this fabulous country. Uvita is a pretty chill surf town where mountainous rainforests collide with world-class beaches. The most famous one being the Whale's Tail Sandbar. That's good for snorkeling and sunset beach walks. Uvita has a handful of casual restaurants scattered around town, but nightlife here is pretty sparse. So this is more of a place to escape and unwind. Maybe with a side of adventure if you want to surf or hike. There are four cocoa pods plus two villas here. I cover my experience staying at one of these villas in a different video. The cocoa pods are up a steep dirt road, so if you're driving yourself, I recommend a 4x4. You check in at this cute reception desk that's right next to the restaurant. The restaurant's open every day for a buffet breakfast that's really nice and is included in the room cost. You can also have dinner here, but you do need to tell them in advance because with so few rooms, there's often not enough demand to justify having someone stick around for dinner. Let's have a look at the room, but let me warn you that we did miss something pretty big when we first arrived. So I'll break this into a before and after room tour. This is the before part. They're cooler on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Well, if you are under the fan, it's not bad, but maybe they need more yeah. fans all over the place. It's, it's a really warm day. There's no windows on this place, so I don't know if you can tell, like this fabric, it breathes, it's fabric, but it's um, it's not as good as having a window completely open. No, or maybe other net that have more space in between yeah. so the air can go through. Yeah, there doesn't feel like there's tons of air coming through here right now, so I'm kind of curious to see how uh, how the sleeping is going to go. I mean, I really I love the concept. The setting here is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think the exterior is really beautiful. It's a fun concept. This is glamping, and this is not expensive, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't figured it out, there's no air conditioning in here. Yeah. Like <laughs> can you tell by looking at us? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see uh, my shirt is drenched? Uh, fan is right over the bed, so that's good. Um, there's not a lot of space to sit around here inside, so you're going to have to kind of be somewhere. Yeah. There are common areas. and the... Basically, they invite you to stay outside Yeah. yeah. during the day. I think this is for sleeping. Let's yeah, put it that way. Uh, the bathroom... Bathroom ain't fancy. It's, uh, yeah. it's just okay. The tile is what just okay, and it's a little slightly beat up. Mm -hmm. Let me show you around the rest of the property, then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the room the right way. We'll start with the least fun part, the gym, which is really nice for a place of this size. Next to the gym is a children's play area, but I don't think the Cocoa Pods would be great for little kids. Too many things to fall off of. Down the hill is a yoga pavilion. Daily slash free yoga is not offered here, and my sense is this space is used mostly for groups who book out the whole place or as an event space. Next to the yoga pavilion is a sauna that I cannot imagine wanting to use in this heat, but maybe it cools down later in the year. If you do want to cool down, it comes with this cold plunge for the inner Scandinavian in you. Right next to our room and the restaurant is the trampoline. Wow. 
And after that workout, you'll be ready to hit the pool that's shared by the four cocoa pods and this cat. Because this place is so small, you often have the pool to yourself. But there's enough seating even if two or three rooms are down here at the same time. I saved the best for last, this wild slide. But first, let me show you how to do the room the right way. All right, so I feel a bit silly that uh, we didn't figure this out earlier, but uh, okay, now open your eyes. Is that better? <laughs> yes. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yes, it like creates a lot of space. I think it makes a world of difference. Yeah, because you have a view now. You have a view, you don't feel like confined and it's a lot cooler, like there's a breeze coming through and you're connected to uh, the Nature. beautiful jungle around us. <laughs> that's the reason for coming here, right? That's, that's yeah. not, now, now the glamping is making sense to me. Yeah. So. Okay, maybe this sounds dumb, but this was one of the funnest things I did in my month-long stay in Costa Rica. <laughs> one word of caution though, the slide can scratch you up a bit. I had scratches on my back for a week after this. So, I said at the beginning, I have a pro tip. But you have basically what you need for uh, clamping yeah. space. Um, I think that I was, ex like, because the, the atelier is so spectacular, mm -hmm. maybe I was hoping that you will have other details. Right. It's very simple, it's what you need. Um, and what Maria is referring to is, like, a couple nights ago, we stayed also on this property at a fabulous house a called the Atelier. Uh, and that really space. was one of my favorite stays in Costa Rica. So this is the same owners, same property, different experience. Yeah. And we just got here, but I think we we agree it's a very different experience. Yeah. So, uh, they put the standard mm. very high. But you know, here's <laughs> a crazy thing that just occurred to me. So that place, this runs like two to 300 bucks a night mm -hmm. and sleeps two. The Atelier sleeps six. Mm -hmm and runs about 800 bucks a night. So divide that by three people. It's, it's a, yes. about the same price. Yeah, so it's worth it. Come in a group and stay there. <laughs> yes, yeah, that did just occur to me. It's like, if you got six people, go there or stay, or 10 people at the art villa upstairs, mm -hmm. which it's also beautiful. is gorgeous. Um, might be a better way to do it. And you get air conditioning mm -hmm. and your own pool yeah. and a huge kitchen and a much nicer space. This is really cool, but uh, it's clamping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I was a little worried it was going to be really hot in here at night because it was pretty hot this afternoon, but um, it's cooled down nicely. And with the fan right above the bed, um, I'm slightly warm, but I'm fairly comfortable. So it's uh, it's not too bad right now. Uh, and since you asked, you know, the pillows uh, are pretty good. I'm going to give them a seven and a half. Good night. But if it's just you and that special friend, then I think this is still a really good option. But like I said, if you can muster together a group, then the Art Villas or the Atelier would be a better option. Check out my video about that experience here. Thanks for watching and see us in the next video.